P0309. This means you're getting a misfire in your ninth cylinder. And don't start freaking out too much yet, we're here to explain some possible solutions and some possible causes, and what all this means for you and your engine. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. Like we said before, P0309 is specific to that ninth cylinder. So it's a difference between say a P0301 or a P0300 which in that case is random multiple misfires. Since it's happening in that ninth cylinder, it's not gonna be in a four cylinder engine or a V6 or a V8. You're more than likely working with a V12 engine. Good for you. But now we're gonna explain what a misfire actually is. At its core, a misfire is the desynchronization of the combustion cycle within your engine. And unless your car is made before 1980 or you're riding a dirt bike, your car has a four stroke combustion cycle. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. So your cylinder intakes the fuel oxygen mix. The piston compresses that mix. The spark plug ignites the mix to give power. And finally, your cylinder is open to release the exhaust. And combustion requires three elements, oxygen, fuel, and spark. The intake stroke introduces oxygen and fuel. And the power stroke provides the spark. If any of these three components are messed up, the process gets out of sync and you get this error code. Now, there are a lot of reasons for a misfire, but we are going to start with a few of the simplest. First, it could be that air fuel mixture component. Your engine needs a very specific mixture of fuel and oxygen. So if there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the car, it could not be getting enough oxygen for that mixture. In this case, it can be a crack or a leak in the hose or really any other air component issue. And the good news, this is usually another less complex issue that doesn't hurt your wallet too much. Second, it could be on the fuel side of the mix. This usually has to do with a fuel injector or a fuel filter. Between the two, we suggest changing those fuel filters first because this is usually a cheaper fix around $20 to $60 without the labor. Whereas the injector is electric and is a little bit more complicated piece of machinery and it can be anywhere from $600 to $1,100 for the parts alone. Finally, and most simply, it could be the ignition coil or your spark plug. And what's cool is that there's a super easy way to check this. In your engine, you can easily switch your ignition coil from one cylinder to another. If you don't know how to do that, this video right here will help you out. After you switch those coils, go ahead and grab your fixed sensor if you have one. No worries if you don't, any OBD2 scanner will work. Then you can see if that engine code has changed from a P0309 to a P0307. If it has, then it's more than likely your ignition coil. If it hasn't, I would say it's time to check those spark plugs. In this case, you want it to be those spark plugs. If it is the spark plugs, it's usually going to be a cheaper fix. Anywhere from around $10 to $100, depending on your vehicle, for parts alone. Coils are roughly $240 to $360 for the parts alone. The labor would set you back about $60 to $77. If you take out that spark plug, make sure to check out all the other spark plugs as well. If it's just that one spark plug that's worn out, then you're probably good and happy driving. If it's not, and there's multiple spark plugs worn out, I would go ahead and take this to your mechanic or a trusted friend, as there could be a more serious problem. For specifics on how to change those spark plugs and how to diagnose some of those other problems, make sure to check the links in the videos below. For P0309, there are plenty of other possible problems. This could be spark plug wires, bad fuel, any other air intake components, or even mechanical problems within the combustion cycle. The three problems mentioned before, in our opinion, are the easiest to fix and the most common. So check those out first, either yourself, with a friend, or a trusted mechanic. Don't have a trusted mechanic? You can check out our free app and look up local trusted shops. Don't have any friends? You can check out this helpful video here. Changed my life. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. Cheers, and happy driving, everyone.